A groundbreaking silicon chip of exceptional purity has emerged, paving the way for the development of highly advanced quantum computers. Greetings everyone. Today we will be diving into an exciting subject. Our video will focus on a recent development in the field of quantum computing. Researchers have successfully devised a groundbreaking method to create exceptionally pure silicon chips specifically designed for quantum computers. This remarkable achievement has paved the way for extended quantum coherence. As a result, quantum computers may soon possess the capability to solve complex problems in a matter of hours, a task that would have taken traditional computers centuries to accomplish. By utilizing these highly purified silicon chips, qubits are safeguarded, leading to longer coherence and a reduced necessity for error correction. This significant advancement brings us one step closer to the realization of scalable quantum computers, which hold immense potential across a wide range of industries. Now, without any further delay, let us begin our discussion. According to the researchers, the newly developed method to produce exceptionally pure silicon positions, it is the ideal material for large scale and highly accurate quantum computer manufacturing. According to Professor David Jameson, who co-supervises the project at the University of Melbourne, a groundbreaking innovation has been published in the prestigious Nature Journal, Communication Materials. This innovation involves the utilization of qubits consisting of phosphorus atoms embedded in stable silicon crystals, offering a potential solution to the persistent challenge of extending the duration of delicate quantum coherence in quantum computing. According to Professor Jameson, the rapid accumulation of computing errors is a consequence of fragile quantum coherence. However, with the implementation of our innovative technique, quantum computers could tackle problems that would typically require conventional or classical computers, including supercomputers, centuries to solve in just a matter of hours or minutes. The fundamental units of quantum computers, known as qubits or quantum bits, are highly sensitive to even the slightest variations in their surroundings, such as fluctuations in temperature. Despite being housed in extremely cold refrigerators close to absolute zero, approximately minus 273 degrees Celsius, existing quantum computers can only sustain perfect coherence for an incredibly brief period of time. According to Professor Richard Curry, a co-supervisor at the University of Manchester, the utilization of ultra-pure silicon has enabled the development of high-performance qubit devices. These devices play a crucial role in the advancement of scalable quantum computers. According to Professor Curry, we have successfully developed a fundamental building block essential for the development of a silicon-based quantum computer. This achievement marks a significant milestone in the advancement of a technology that holds immense potential to revolutionize the world. According to lead author Ravi Acharya, who is a Cookson scholar from the University of Manchester and the University of Melbourne, one major benefit of silicon chip quantum computing is that it employs the same fundamental techniques found in the chips utilized in modern computers. The current electronic chips found in common computers are comprised of billions of transistors, which can also serve as the building blocks for qubits in silicon-based quantum devices. However, the production of high-quality silicon qubits has been hindered by the impurity of the initial silicon material. The achievement of breakthrough purity, as demonstrated here, effectively resolves this issue. According to Professor Jameson, the recently developed silicon computer chips have been designed to not only house and safeguard the qubits, but also to extend their quantum coherence, resulting in the ability to perform intricate calculations with significantly reduced reliance on error correction. According to him, our method paves the way for dependable quantum computers that hold the potential to bring significant advancements in various fields, such as artificial intelligence, secure data and communications, vaccine and drug design, as well as energy use, logistics and manufacturing. The information technology industry heavily relies on silicon, a semiconductor material derived from beach sand due to its abundance and versatility. Silicon has the unique ability to function as either a conductor or an insulator of electrical current, depending on the addition of specific chemical elements. According to Professor Jameson, while some are exploring different options, 
Silicon is considered the front runner for quantum computer chips due to its ability to maintain the necessary coherence for dependable quantum calculations. According to his explanation, the issue lies in the fact that although silicon found in nature consists primarily of the preferred isotope silicon-28, it also contains approximately 4.5% of silicon-29. This particular isotope possesses an additional neutron within each atom's nucleus, which behaves like a minuscule renegade magnet. As a result, it disrupts quantum coherence and leads to computational mistakes. By directing a concentrated and rapid beam of pure silicon-28 at a silicon chip, the researchers were able to gradually substitute the silicon-29 atoms in the chip, resulting in a significant reduction of silicon-29 from 4.5% to a mere 2 parts per million, 0.0002%. According to Professor Jameson, the exciting development is that we can now utilize a commonly found ion implanter in semiconductor fabrication labs tailored to our specific design to achieve the necessary level of silicon purification. The University of Melbourne, in collaboration with the ARC Centre of Excellence for Quantum Computation and Communication Technology, achieved an unprecedented milestone in their prior study. They established and currently maintain the global benchmark for single qubit coherence, boasting an impressive duration of 30 seconds. It is worth noting that this achievement was accomplished using silicon that had undergone a less rigorous purification process. With a generous time frame of 30 seconds, researchers have ample opportunity to perform intricate quantum computations without the interference of errors. According to Professor Jameson, the current quantum computers with over 1,000 qubits experience errors in a matter of milliseconds due to coherence loss. Having achieved the remarkable feat of generating exceptionally pure silicon-28, our immediate objective is to prove our ability to maintain quantum coherence across multiple qubits concurrently. Our ultimate goal is to construct a dependable quantum computer consisting of 30 qubits, which would surpass the computational capabilities of current supercomputers in certain domains, he explained. The funding for this recent project was provided through research grants from both the Australian and UK governments. Additionally, Professor Jameson's partnership with the University of Manchester is made possible by the esteemed Royal Society Wolfson Visiting Fellowship. According to a report released in 2020 by Australia's CSIRO, the potential of quantum computing in the country is projected to generate 10,000 job opportunities and contribute $2.5 billion in annual revenue by the year 2040. According to Professor Jameson, our research brings us considerably closer to actualizing this potential. When a qubit, such as an atomic nucleus, electron or photon, exists in a quantum superposition of various states, it is considered a quantum object. However, once the qubit returns to a single state and transforms into a classical object like a traditional computer bit, coherence is lost. Unlike a qubit, a classical computer bit can only be in one of two states, either one or zero, and is never in a superposition. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.